that most people who fly drones for fun or those who do so for commercial purposes intend to fly those drones safely. But some people don't understand exactly what flying safely means. The end result is that every month we get numerous reports from pilots and others about drones flying near manned aircraft and in and around our nation's airports. The bottom line is that anyone who flies a drone in and around the airspace near airports can pose a serious safety risk. Uh, the number of drone reports in and around our airports has been on the, on the rise, and that trend is a concern for us at the FAA. Uh, we have an, an approach to look at education, enforcement, but also detection being a key component so that we can detect that activity and take steps to correct uh, anything that might be hazardous in our nation's airspace. Our traditional radar technology uh, used to detect larger aircraft is not as effective with these smaller drones, so we're looking at technology that is more effective. That could include radio frequency detection, uh, specific radar technology that's geared more for a smaller device like a drone, or uh, optical sensors that'll pick up the activity on an airport. So our launch today was to demonstrate some of the testing and evaluations done earlier this week where a drone launched in the airport environment and we're looking at the ability of those sensors to pick that, that drone activity up. We've designed a test that uh, incorporates the evaluation of drones of all different sizes. When you talk about radar, optical, or RF, it's critical that we test ones that are in different operating on different frequencies, ones that are different colors for day and night. We also want to check the size of it to make sure uh, different UAs have different type of what we call cross-section, the ability of a radar to return and echo back a, a target. So uh, all of these have been carefully uh, selected to challenge these sensors just for those types of, of tools. The performance assessment that we just finished uh, here at Dallas-Fort Worth is critical because it's the first time we've brought three different types of sensors together into one suite. So when you ask about scalability and what it would look like at a large airport, uh, that's what we're trying to understand now, is how many sensors would it take to properly protect an airport the size of, of DFW.